If you're asked to provide some extra information while making an app store, subscription-based, or in-app purchase on your iPhone, here's what to do. We'll show you how to update your payment information and how to authenticate your purchase with your financial institution. Before you start, make sure you know your Apple ID and password. You might also need your payment information. If your payment method is a credit or debit card, you might need the card number, expiration date, security code, and billing address. Depending on your region or payment method, you might be asked for additional information from your financial institution, like your username, password, PIN, and phone number linked to your account. We'll start by showing you how to update your payment information. If the transaction doesn't go through when you're making a purchase, there might be a problem with your payment method. Follow the prompts if you're asked to provide additional payment information. You might need to enter your Apple ID password or authenticate with Face ID, Touch ID, or your iPhone passcode. On the Manage Payment screen, you'll find your list of payment methods linked to your Apple ID. There might be a note in red text next to the payment method that can't be charged. To fix it, tap the payment method and update your information. If your payment method is a credit or debit card, you might need to enter the security code or CVV that's printed on the card. Once your payment method is updated, tap Done and then return to the App Store or other payment screen to complete your purchase. You can update your payment and shipping information anytime in Settings, and you might need to add a new payment method if you run into the issue again. Now we'll go over what to do if your financial institution asks you to authenticate your purchase. In some countries and regions, you might need to verify your purchase because of local regulations. If this happens, you'll see a notification that will redirect you to your financial institution's website or app. Tap OK to continue, and then follow the prompts. This might include logging in with your account username and password, or providing an extra PIN or code from your financial institution. Once your information is approved, you can head back to the App Store or other payment screen to complete your purchase. If you still need help, Contact Apple Support, your financial institution, or your card issuer. To learn more about your Apple devices, subscribe to the Apple Support YouTube channel or click another video to keep watching.